I never thought I'd actually make this video again because it honestly pisses me off that they got rid of the dislike button. And I never thought I'd be this mad because I'm trying to look up tutorials of some things to see one, if it's a good video or not, or two, if it's just a reliable source. Now, everything's just a watch fest to see if something's actually good. Like, are you really, I know the last video I said that um, time is precious, but this is like for a good fucking week because everyone's even complaining about it. And I'm just gonna go more in depth about it because if they really did care about the creators, they definitely revert this decision. So I was thinking, um, let's go over, let's react to this video again here by YouTube creators. You don't even fucking deserve the creator's name in your YouTube video, really. You're like your YouTube channel in general. What pisses me off here? Cause I got an extension to add the dislike button. Are they really trying that fucking hard to add, to get rid of the dislikes? And it, mine just says not available now. I know there, there are extensions and stuff like that to add like, what to see what tags they added. But now you can't even see the dislikes at all, even with an extension. This is just ridiculous. Are they really cracking down on this? Like it's like fucking like secret files of the NSA or something? Or like they're tracking it down like they accidentally released one of um, Susan Wojcicki's fucking pornos or something. And already straight from the bat, he already has a fucking punchable face, dude. Like like my gut feeling is telling me this guy's just fucking capping. Like he's, like, he's not, like from what I got to, from this, this is not the real reason why they got rid of the dislikes. It may be one of the reasons, but it's not like the real, real reason. I have seen a while back that YouTube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. Now, if you're like me, you were surprised by that. No, you're I mean, not. Shut I've the fuck up. I've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not, if it's a helpful tutorial or not. That's or what I if thought. what a creator is, is saying in their video is generally agreed with or not. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, research teams at YouTube have found there's this whole other use for disliking a video that I had never experienced as a creator and you may not have either. Okay, if there's research, show me, sh show me some APA citation document to me or show me an MLA document to me that proves that there's another reason why people are disliking videos, for example, what you're gonna mention here. Apparently groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count, turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. Game with a visible scoreboard. Honestly, they're thinking like it's mid 2010s with the Leafy era and the Keemstar era. No one does that anymore, dude. Like, and if people do that, it's probably for a good reason because they probably did something heinous. It's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. If it's usually they don't like the creator or what they stand for, then get a fucking life. Like, do something better with your life. Start a family, start a new hobby or something instead of hating on a fucking YouTuber, dude. You got, there's better things to do in life than just hate on a YouTuber if that's the fucking case. But generally, that's fucking ridiculous. If you really think like that, Come on. The big problem when half of YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice. Everyone a voice? So now you're silencing everyone's voice. Shut the fuck YouTube up. experimented with making the public dislike count private. And I can't see if, see it if it's a reliable video anymore. Coordinated <laughs> dislike attacks across the platform. And after analysis, they did see a reduction. A reduction? So, really? The update Prove it. I want to see a 10 page APA citation format paper shown to me. Really, prove it to me. You say there's research, right? Or are you just doing it because you just want to... Uh, I never mentioned in my last um, video about this topic, but is it because um, you want to cover up um, the companies being like dislike bomb because of like their wrongdoings? And now you just want them to get more ad revenue now? But yeah, let's, like I said, let's just get rid of ratings on it. eBay or something because you want to hurt their feelings or you want them to buy their product more often. <laughs> is that the dislike button is staying, but the dislike counts will now be private. Honestly, you either get rid of the dislike counts on both sides or you keep it. If you're going to get rid of it, you better get rid of it on the other side too. 
and just make it still make it a rating system i think that's what i was gonna say dude i'm done with this video fuck this oh no you guys want to see something funny hold up so one of the youtube founders um the uploader of uh, me at the zoo the very first youtube video look what he has to say watching matt koval's announcement about removing uh, dislikes i thought something was off the spoken words did not match the eyes yeah his it, it looks so shady when he's talking on camera of the reason why youtube's removing dislikes it reminded me of an interview of admiral jeremiah denton gave in 1966 i've never seen a less enthusiastic more long announcement of something that's been supposed to be great calling the removal of dislikes is a good thing for this cannot be done without the conflict of some of them yeah we know this because there's an existence not a single youtube creator who thinks removing dislikes yeah dude pretty much all the creators think it's a bad idea dude like that that's kind of fucking reckless they're like pulling a netflix after amy schumer got like bombed with like one star ratings and for a good reason because no one simply liked her she was like bad i seen the i seen some stand-up comedy about her and it it's not good it's really not good dude like this one youtuber even tr managed to go through the whole video not even laughing about it because it's really not that funny he even fell asleep like after eight seconds because that's how boring she is dude and yeah it's so essential like especially if you need to do a tutorial imagine if you're um you need to learn how to do cpr right and then all of a sudden you click like a a repost of a how to basic video or like a how to basic video that's not how to basic and then you do cpr like that and you, you accidentally kill your mother or father it's ridiculous man and to this day, they still get bombed with bring back the dislike button, the dislike counter, especially on Twitter. I bet the first post I click, they're going to be like, bring back the dislike button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm t I told you. I thought, I, w I, thought, I thought it wouldn't happen. But look, I'm going to keep it real with you, YouTube. This won't make people forget you. Room. This is really the worst thing that they've ever done. Everyone's speaking out and they're not doing anything. They changed the format of how the descriptions are organized but they're trying as hard as they can to get rid of the dislike and then i know in the end of the video of um the creators channel by matt koval or the video by matt koval at least because i don't know who else runs that channel he even says that um well other sites don't do it well that's what makes you unique you're trying to become like something like the same and that's what makes other sites compared like not as reliable because you make the site reliable with dislike counter to see if it's more reliable or like simply a good video and it pissed me off because i was literally scrolling through like fixing something and apparently i can't do that without <laughs> relying on the video if it's good or not and some people put some capcom and sometimes it's bots or they're acting like they're another account and they just comment oh good video even though it's completely shit like for example how, how to pirate on um, minecraft for free and then all of a sudden it leads you to a fucking key gen virus like come on dude i'm not condoning any pirating of any kind though yeah everyone's saying dislike disabled chat did they i thought they were supposed to be expressed yeah dude like <laughs> it's so fucking sad dude everyone's posting the same fucking comment with the dislikes yeah dude like there's like six of them and there's a lot of posts as well honestly just bring back the goddamn dislike button everyone's just saying it at this point i don't know if youtube's gonna die at the same time i know i've only started um uploading for a year i've also done other on another channel beforehand but i abandoned that channel but yeah i started doing it again just bring it back i miss the old youtube like, I know you gotta adapt to change, but at least don't distant yourself to the creators, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I hope they add that dislike button back again. Since my videos don't really get viewed that often, my last Karen video also has, like, just one dislike, just to show you guys. But yeah, that's all. Peace.